easy and super valuable way to follow up with your past clients and sphere on an annual basis. Hi friends, Clint Stitzer with Stitzer Properties and the Purposeful Practitioner here. And if you've been in real estate for any period of time, I'm sure you've heard of some form of the strategy of an annual real estate review, whether it's a CMA, whether it's a property walk, whatever the, the technique of an annual real estate review is, here's another way that you can improve that or even execute it more simply. And that is to look at the property assessor's website. And there's two things we're gonna look at. Thing number one is tax cap status. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been calling a lot of our past clients in Sphere, and what we realized is there are a lot of people that are primary residential occupiers, meaning they lived in the home, but their tax cap status was if it was an investment home or a second home, okay? Um, and that makes a meaningful difference because in the state of Nevada, specifically in Washoe County, low cap qualified primary residence means that your property taxes cannot increase by more than 3% per year. If it's an investment property or second home, they can increase by more than 3% per year. So for some of those folks that have been in their home for a few years, if they are on low cap status, their property taxes could have increased way more than they should have. Okay, so simple way to check is just go over here to the property. Here's my house, a tax cap status, low cap qualified primary residence. Okay, so I filled out the form correctly. I'm considered primary residence. Now, if that does not say low cap qualified primary residence, you can call your client and let them know that and then share this link that gives them the procedure on how to file their tax cap claim online and to go through that process if there's money to go back. So that's all right here. I'll throw this link in the description. Oh, and by the way, if they are low cap and they are primary residents, you can call and just let them know that you checked and everything looks good. The other item that you wanna look at here, so let's say that you do a CMA for your sphere or they're on HomeBot, is you could just do a quick check on their total taxable value down here relative to your estimated market value. Now, if the total taxable value is greater than their estimated market value, then that's against Nevada law. They cannot have an assessment that's greater uh, than market value, else they can appeal their property tax value and get their property taxes lower. Okay, so those are the two things you're looking at on this page that you can use as relevant value added reach out to your past clients and your sphere using a CMA and tax cap status. This is Clint Stitzer wishing you great success in your real estate career. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, shoot me a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.